depraved New York doctor who shot female medic in Bronx Lebanon hospital. A crazed doctor who shot seven people, killing one woman, at a New York hospital sent a disturbing email to a newspaper two hours before the shocking murder-suicide. Dr. Henry Bello, 35 used an AR-15 assault rifle to carry out the rampage at the Bronx Lebanon Hospital where he murdered Dr. Tracy Tam before turning the firearm on himself on Friday afternoon. Dr. Henry Bello a former physician at the hospital has been named as the suspect. Dr. Tracy Tam, who was covering a colleague's shift on the day of the shooting, was killed by Bello. The AR-15 rifle which Bello used on the shooting rampage in New York on Friday. But it has now emerged that the disgraced medic sent a chilling message to the New York Daily News blaming two doctors for ruining his life after he was forced to resign over sexual harassment accusations. He wrote, First, I was told it was because I always kept to myself. Then it was because of an altercation with a nurse. In Bellow's email, which was sent at 12.46 p.m. on Friday, he claims hospital bosses told him he was fired because he allegedly threatened a colleague. He revealed he also sent an email to that former co-worker congratulating her for my termination after she sent out an email to everybody telling them to file complaints against me so I can be terminated for being rude to her. Emergency workers pictured outside the Bronx hospital following the gun rampage. Police officers pictured at the scene of the shooting in which the crazed gunman shot and killed himself. Police Commissioner James P. O'Neill speaks to reporters outside the Bronx Lebanon Hospital. Bello then blamed another doctor for ruining his career in medicine claiming he blocked him from getting a medical permit despite investing $400,000 into the hospital's family medicine department. Meanwhile, Bello's victim has been named as Dr. Tracy Tam who was tragically covering a colleague's shift on the night of the shooting. Dr. Tam, who lives in the Queens borough of the city, was reportedly not the depraved killer's intended target. The victim's neighbor Mahadur Rahman, 58, told the New York Post, she didn't have to be there. She doesn't work in the hospital she works in the clinic. Bellows' target, a hospital resident, was off-duty and away from the hospital on Friday. The disgraced medic was sacked for harassing a colleague in 2015 but had also been arrested in the past for sexual assault, burglary, fair jumping and public urination. The doctor had been arrested in 2004 on a charge of sexual abuse, according to a police report, after a 23-year-old woman told police Bello grabbed her, lifted her up and carried her off, saying, you're coming with me. Colleagues described him as a man who was aggressive, loud and threatening. Armed officers outside the hospital following the carnage. The suspect killed one person and then himself. Six others were injured in the horror. A doctor outside the hospital where five medics were shot by a former colleague. Maureen Quancom told the Daily News, We fired him because he was kind of crazy. He promised to come back and kill us then. People described the chaotic scene as gunfire erupted, spreading terror throughout the medical facility as employees locked themselves inside rooms and patients feared for their lives after hearing an announcement warning of someone in the building with a weapon. Renaldo Del Villar, a patient who was in the third floor emergency room getting treatment for a lower back injury, said, I thought I was going to die. The gunman was seen walking around with the AR-15 assault rifle concealed under the white lab coat he was wearing. 
A blood trail was seen leading from the second to eighth floor, NY City Alerts tweeted. Officers were called to the hospital at around 3 p.m. local time. Medics had to barricade themselves in. He had allegedly stormed the 8th, 16th and 17th floor of the hospital. Doctors reportedly barricaded themselves inside the building as the gunman rampaged through the 972-bed building. One worker posted a photo on Instagram showing the door barricaded with a chair and rubbish bin. She said, what do you do when you hospital has shooter in it, later adding, nice start of the weekend. Officials also speculated that Beller may have doused himself with a flammable liquid such as petrol and tried to set himself on fire before shooting himself but sprinklers managed to extinguish the fire.